Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are filming something a little bit special, um, the Make Me Up Mesa Patreon group called The Sexy Sausages has organised a influencers slash Instagrammers collaboration on Instagram. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't consider myself as an influencer, I am just about an Instagrammer and just about a YouTuber for like, what, three, four videos by now. Um, so yeah, I'm not classing myself in that category, but some of them that are in that group are absolutely amazing. And yeah, you'll be able to go and check them out on the Instagram post that we put up when we put it up. Um, so it should be this weekend that we're putting it up. I don't know if the, this video will be up that, by then, but I will link them both together once they're both up. So the aim of the collaboration between us all is to recreate your favorite Make Me Up Missa look that she's done. And I'll pop a picture of the look that I have chosen on the screen. And the reason I chose this look is because I have recently bought the Jaclyn Hill palette, uh, the volume two, I haven't got volume one, it wasn't something that really appealed to me. But I do love all the different colors that are in this palette. Um, they're just stunning and they've got sort of my name written all over them being nice and bright and I have recently got bloodlust so you would have seen the video for that but yeah this has got much more pinks and yellows and brighter corally tones which are kind of my favorite so that's why I had to get that um, so yeah that's why I've chosen this look the first look that Missa did with this palette she wasn't very happy with how the gold came out she did say that the the gold in the palette sort of flaked on her eye which is why I chose not to do that um, and I thought I've done plenty of shimmer, shadow, glittery looks on my channel, but I haven't actually done a fully matte look yet. So this look is going to be completely matte with the pink and coral and purple and yellow. Um, so yeah, I just thought I had a, I'd have a go at something a bit different, which isn't as glittery and sparkly necessarily. But as you can tell, I'm not sure if you can, but I have <laughs> lots of highlighter on my face because one thing Missa is known for is putting a lot of highlighter on and I don't need an excuse to put a lot of highlighter on either, to be honest. Um, so I thought I would go full whack with it today, all over my face, as much as possible. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just get on with doing the eye look. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys right on in so that you get a nice close look at what's going on. And I'm gonna prime my eyes with the P. Louise base, as I usually do in the shade Rumour 02 and I'm gonna pop that on with my Jessup 233 cream shader. So because my base is done already, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush to just buff out the edges, like this, just to blend them in a bit better. Right, so we're going to start off using the shade Lolly Mama, which is this shade just here. And we're going to use it on a Morphe Jeffree Star JS12 brush. Run it right through the crease. Now, like Missa did in her video, I'm being really light-handed with this, just because I don't want any fallout because my base is already done. So next we're going to go in with the shade Dance Party, which is a bit of a deeper pink, this one. And I'm going to use my Morphe M506 brush for that. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with that first pink shade, which was Lolly Mama, and I'm going to use it on a fluffier brush. So I'm going to use my Morphe M503 just to blend out the, the very outside of the shadow. Okay, 
back in again with Dance Party, the deeper pink. And just using this brush which has a little bit of Lolly Mama on it to burn that out. So I'm just going to check what Missa did next and be right back. Okay, so Missa didn't actually say what she did next, but her eyes do become a lot darker and it looks to me like she uses either Oh Hello, which is this one, or Crazy, which is this one. So I'm going to start with Oh Hello and see how I get on with that. And I'm going to use it on this super flippy floppy Morphe brush, which is the M562. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a picture up of my eyes right now next to Miss's eyes right now, and I still think they're not quite dark enough. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Crazy, that deeper one that I showed you, um, on the same brush, and just hope that it gets as dark as Miss's does. We'll see what happens. I'm using it very gently because I don't want it to get too dark. Okay, I'm a bit more happy with that. I think we're looking a bit more along the lines of where Missa was. Probably should have just started with that shade first, to be honest, rather than Oh Hello. But anyway, that's fine. You live and you learn. So I'm gonna go back in with those first two shades I used, which were Lolly Mama and Dance Party, just to blend out that darker shade, using the same brushes that they were on before. Okay, so because I normally do my under eye separately, I have obviously neglected to carry on my eyeshadows underneath. So I'm just gonna sort of play catch up on my under eye and match the shades that I've got on the top. And I'm going to use this Morphe Jeffree Star JS13 brush. Now we're ready to pop the yellow shade on. Missa did have some trouble with getting this shade to stick to her eyelid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of semi cut my crease um, with P. Louise base. I'm just gonna sort of freshen up the gap that's there really and um, give it something to stick to. So I'm just gonna pop my P. Louise base on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have semi sort of cut my crease. I'm gonna pop the yellow shade on now and I'm going to use my Morphe M152 brush and we're going to use the shade No Joke which is this one just here Um, you might be able to see 
just here where it's a little bit patchy so I'm going to use a smaller brush something that's a bit more accurate so I'm going to use this Jessup 237 detail shader see how it goes on with that yeah but it's still patchy so it seems whether you use P. Louise base or whether you don't use any base like Missa did maybe that's just a patchy yellow maybe that's the formula so next to that yellow I'm going to use the shade positivity which is this lovely coral shade here my favorite favorite color so I'm really hoping and praying that this comes out nicely because it's my favorite color Okay, so I'm gonna pop some more of those deep pink shades in just up here to blend into the yellow a little bit better and I might use the yellow shade which is called My Man. This one just here. Sorry, put a brush in your face. Okay. I'm getting extremely frustrated with this because for some reason the yellow and the coral shade are patchy as hell. Um, hopefully you can see how patchy it is and they just don't seem to be blending together very well and I don't think it's me, <laughs> I hope it's not me, um, I don't think it's my brushes, my brushes were all used yesterday to do another look so it shouldn't be my brushes, it shouldn't be my P. Louise base, it, I don't know what it is, but it's not going the way I want it to today. Um, so I'm just gonna pop off camera for a minute, <laughs> let some of my frustration out, and I will be right back once I have decided what to do with the rest of this eye look to try and get it to work. So lashes and lip are on. I've used a combination of Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lip in the shade Wifey with the new Maybelline Ink Crayon in the shade Treat Yourself in the center. Uh, the eyes are finished. They are still a little bit patchy. I do need to play with that palette again to be able to make a complete judgment on it. Um, and yeah, I've pulled my hair up, put my big hoop earrings in and I'm quite happy with how this look came out to be honest. Let me know what you think of this look down in the comments. Drop me a like and if you could subscribe to my channel that would be really great too. If you want to follow me on Instagram I'll pop a link for that down in the description box below. I'll also pop a link for the post that has all the collaborators on it. There are 20 of us so make sure you go and check out all of those Instagrammers as well because they are all mega mega talented. I don't even know how I ended up fitting into the same category as them to be honest because they are all amazing. But yeah, let us know what you think and give us a like on the post. And yeah, if you could follow us all, that would be lovely. But I hope you're all staying safe, staying well and keeping inside. But I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.